I will just get up in there. No, I just get up press the button. In there. Look, it, d babe. What? It's following my face. I know. That's a good thing. Whoa. Oh god. Okay. Hi YouTube. What's up? Welcome to uh, our channel. This is one of our very first videos. My name is Haley. And I'm Rick. I, in a previous take, I introduced him and he yeah, got mad. It was me. very rude. It I was feel rude. I'm an adult. You're an adult. You're your own person. I'm my own person. You can own that. I know. So we just recently announced uh, that I am pregnant. We are pregnant with his child. We did this last time too. Babe, they don't know about last time. We're not including the previous take. You literally just said in a previous okay. take. Okay. I okay. Well, I know, but I, I like. I said it was in a previous. So I posted on my Twitter and Instagram that we were gonna do a Q&A video for you guys today and I asked you all to send me your most prestigious and delving questions and you did so. As long as they're PG, we will be answering them. I think they actually- Good all job, of them guys. Were PG. Good job. That's not you guys. true. No, they were. No. I, well, so far, Are you? I've read. <laughs> one that was sent to me earlier is not PG. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, I know. We can read it in PG form though. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you anyway. can't. Anyway. Not without getting the message across. Ow. Yikes. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna dive right in to the Q&A about uh, our baby, my pregnancy, anything, life in general. So, my uh, pregnancy. Do you have a baby in there, babe? Do we each have a baby that we're growing? You can't take all the credit. I did half the work. You did not have the work! Well. Um, what would be the first video game that you'd want him or her to play? You first? My first instinct is Mario. I was gonna say Diablo for you, but I was wrong. No. I think, cause Mario, or Mar like I'd say Mario Kart. Because we can all play that Mario as a family. Kart's fun. And you and I are both very competitive people, which means that Peanut's probably gonna be pretty competitive, just purely out of nature. And that's a fun game for us all to bond Peanut, and be competitive. You can never it. lose. That's a horrible thing to tell our child. If you never lose, you never have to know what defeat feels like. Oh, that's so sad. You're welcome. Uh, so that I think is, are you agreed or do you have a different answer? So you would show I'd say Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. Yeah. That's a good game for a kid. Mm -hmm. That's a good game for a kid. Man, I don't know. It's such a good question. There's no uh, there's no immediate answer for me. No? No, there's not a game. I had, that was like first instinct. Yeah, Mario's a great one. I'm not gonna lie, Mario Kart's good. Mario okay. Kart's good. Um, it's like I win this question. Do you, do you win the question? If you don't have an answer, yeah. Man. I feel like I should have an ant. You know what? Legos. The isn't it video game? Yeah. Legos isn't a video game. Legos are Legos. No. Legos. Oh, you mean League of Legends. <laughs> oh my god, moving on. <laughs> Next question. Do you think baby bias is male or female? We actually know whether baby bias is male or female. Yes. But we're not telling you. So it's a cheating question. But we'll do a gender reveal video for you guys. Maybe. So you'll know soon. If you're lucky, if you ask and I- You behave. <laughs> All right, parenting is already starting. Yeah, we're, we're, you we're parenting you guys. <laughs> Do you pronounce your name like Bayez or is it different? I will let you educate them given that this was originally your last name before it was mine. It is Bayez. Like you're leaving somewhere, bye. Bye. Yes. Yep. Everyone thinks it's Bayez because it's B-A-E-Z, but everybody says the word Bay, even we say Bay. So we're like, oh, Bayes. Nah, man. It's not Bayes. It's Bias. Thanks for asking, though. It's a good, good lesson. What do you think your baby's first word is going to be? What do I think my baby's first word is going to be? <laughs> I don't uh, know. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take a shot in the dark here. Milk. That's that's probably not what it's going to be. It's I my first be. instinct is to say some kind of swear word, but I'm purposely like making it a resolution to be better about swearing before our peanut is born. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead with mama. What was Rick's reaction when you told him you were pregnant? My reaction <laughs> was literally. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of should, should we tell them the whole yeah, story? So... Okay. Well, you can tell the story. You want me to tell the story? Like it, yeah. Well, because I like it. Well, because you've told it 18 million times. I have. I've told not and 18 you, million. But you told literally it tell the story. It's all such the a fun time. story. Okay. All the time. So, so we found out on November 9th. That was the date that we found out I was pregnant. Good thing she remembers that. Well, because I I, I wrote in my journal. Oh. Okay. Night, so and I dated it. Mm -hmm. so that's the only reason I know. Um. So, I was 
absolutely convinced that I was not pregnant. I was, I was just like certain of it. And we're gonna give you like a quick anatomy a lesson, lesson here on the, on the female body. Typically a woman's cycle is around 28 days and it can be longer than that, shorter than that, depending on the person. Some girls have it exactly the same amount of days every month. Some girls are different. For me, I had my cycle at around 25, usually 26 days every single month, and I used a period tracker to track it so I would know when I was due. So I was three days late, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Rick has always been very um, particular about making sure that I was getting my period when it was due. He'd, he'd be like, hey babe, weren't you supposed to get your period the other day? Keep track, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, like, are, like, are you getting it soon? You haven't mentioned having your period in a while. Cause he would just be a little nervous. Um, but I've been late on my period before. Like it's, I think most women have at some point, it's really not a big deal. Um, and I was also cramping, like a big sign of getting your period is, is cramps. And I was having really bad cramps. I'm like, I'm gonna get it like probably tonight, not a big deal. But I told him, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm a few days late. Mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. and so I looked at him and I said, yep. so when should we panic? <laughs> I'm totally confident that I'm okay. But... I, I really was. And so he was like, all right, well, let's just go get a test to be sure. So we went to Vons and, yep. and got um, we got two pregnancy tests and they come in boxes of two. So it was four tests total. Yep. And there was a Starbucks inside and we got these like big, like I got like a venti, Iced tea or green tea You're to bring going home. Such well, no, because it right matters because the test later. Okay. So, uh, so we go home and we're like chilling in the kitchen, and I had drank a lot of this tea, so I had to pee, and I'm like, I right, was well, perfect. I'll go take the test. Yep. So I went into the bathroom, which was downstairs. Uh, the way pregnancy tests work, for those of you who don't know, is it's like a little stick. Um, they come in many different kinds. Some of them will say digitally the word yes or no, or pregnant or not pregnant. Which is what ours did, right? Yeah, ours yes. said the word yes or no. Um, and then some of them have like one line or two. Mm -hmm. So ours was a digital one. So I, and you go in the bathroom, take the cap off, you pee on the end of it for like two seconds, and then you wait. So went to the bathroom, peed on the stick, went back into the kitchen, and uh, and we're like playing with our dog. Like you're just hanging out. I'm on my phone, just chilling. I'm like, oh yeah, it's been two minutes. I should probably look at the test. And, uh, and so I walk over and I look at it and I think I like everything just kind of stopped. Like time, space, me, wars, everything on earth just froze in that moment. Uh, and it's really hard to surprise me. It's, it's a challenge. And uh, that was one of the few times in my life that I was genuinely shocked. And so, and I'm, th I'm thinking if I'm having this moment, Rick must be having this moment too, right? Because we're the same person. And then I look over and he's still playing with Vala, like me, 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 me. So I say his name, but I think you must have like heard something in my voice or seen my face when you were like, oh shit, is that probably right? Yeah, I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> what, what, seeing my face? Or what? Well, your reaction. Yeah. Quick! Stop. You so, did, you freaked out. You're I like, said his name. Rick! I, like, oh my God, and uh. Yeah, exactly like this. Rick! That's not what happened. That is actually. You I literally said, I turned, said your name, I turned you, you and I said Rick. You literally turned around, grabbed your chest, and said Rick. My, I, then, I grabbed my chest? Yeah, and then panicked, and then you sat I, on the I floor. I believe that. Yeah, and then you so, sat no, on but the so, so then he comes over and looks at it, and what was your reaction? I just looked at it, it said yes, and I looked at her, and I was like, ruh row. That was the correct reaction! <laughs> It said, it said the word yes, because ours, ours said yes or no. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think I just kept saying, oh my God, over yeah. and over and over again. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, and then I couldn't stand anymore, so I sat down on the floor. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I just kind of sat there for a few minutes, just thinking, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Um, and then, just because I was so sure that I wasn't, and it turns out that cramping is actually a sign of pregnancy because your uterus is expanding pretty quickly. Noted. So, so it's <laughs> so, a sign of pregnancy and a sign of that time. A lot of a lot of wow. pregnancy symptoms are pretty similar to wow. uh, to period symptoms. So yeah, we were pretty shocked. Uh, we took the rest of the tests. Just to make sure. Yeah, we took the next one and I only had like three drops of pee left. So I'm like chugging this green tea I got at Starbucks. Yeah. And then I go, I get like three drops of pee out, but it's enough. And then, sure enough, it says yes again. And mm -hmm. then the third one was a dud. That one didn't work. It didn't? 
No, because they had like a little clock on it that would blink mm -hmm. and nothing ever popped up. I was like, all right, well that doesn't work. Huh? And my cousin made me FaceTime her right. <laughs> while I took the last one so well, she could watch weird. it blink and say the word yes. <laughs> so, uh, three, Excuse me. so three positive pregnancy tests. Yeah. Uh, and then a doctor saying you're pregnant. Yeah, we and went then, to the doctor. You know. Got that confirmed. Cool. Um, okay. Next question. Next question. So let's, next go, let's go to Twitter, shall All we? Right. There's some good ones on Twitter. Twitter always has good stuff. How are you guys going to choose a name? Do you have similar tastes, a family name that you've always planned on using, or a name that has always uh, been your favorite? Um, it's a tough question. So, we have a lot more boy names picked up than girl names True. because we like we both like boy names more than we There's like. There's so girl. many good boy names There's out so there, man. We love names. them, and we I also like that. really cool names, yeah. like stuff that's unique but mm -hmm. also sounds like yo, that's sick. Yeah. So um, if it's a boy, we're gonna have a much easier time. If it's a girl, we'll. We'll have to brainstorm there a little bit. Yeah, because because not only do we both have names that we like, but it's hard for us to like, like especially with girl names, like finding one that yeah. either of us like, yeah. let alone that we both like. Yeah. So that's challenging. It but is. then again, I mean, for a boy, Rick is named after his dad. Yep. And so there's always the potential that we could always name a boy after Rick. So it'd be Rick, Rick, and Rick. Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo. That's exactly right. Boom, I need boom, boom. another me. <laughs> what the world needs, right? <laughs> what is your biggest worry about the whole process for both of you? Uh, my biggest worry is making sure the baby's healthy. Yeah. Like for the pregnancy, like that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. there's nothing else I'm really concerned about. I mean, obviously when the, you know, when the baby's here, it's going to be a lot of sleepless nights and things like that, but that's really not something that's being thought of right now. It's more just making sure the kid comes out healthy, happy, and then, you know, we'll take ten care fingers, of the rest. Ten, yeah, ten fingers, ten toes, make sure, you know, make sure we, you know, we'll take care of the baby no, no matter what. Yeah, the baby will have a good life. Yeah. Um, I don't have too many concerns as far as pregnancy goes. Um, I've gotten most of the hard parts of, like, especially early pregnancy out of the way, I think. My morning sickness has calmed down quite a bit. Um, I'm starting to get my energy back, which is really nice, because I was bedridden for quite a while for for probably five six weeks yeah, you were i was just in i, I, I was either in the toilet or mm -hmm. i was in bed or just it was constantly wanting to puke um yeah. so a lot of that's gone my concern for when the baby's born is going to be more um trying to balance my career just because i have such uh an unconventional one you know for a lot of people who work nine to fives there's a maternity leave option or um, you know child care which which we have luckily because we're moving back to Arizona to yeah. be with family so we'll have a lot of help but I just I'm really passionate about my job I'm passionate about you know streaming and having you guys and um, creating content that's what I love and so I just want to still be able to do those things and luckily I have you know the ability to do all of those on my own schedule but Babies are just so demanding constantly, especially because I'm planning on breastfeeding. And so it's not like I can just, you know, say, okay, gotta go by, gotta go stream for four hours and, yep. and not and just peace out. Like, no, a baby needs to be fed typically every two hours, or I need to be, you know, pumping milk every couple hours. And like, there's, it's just gonna be a challenge. And yep. I, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm worried about the balance, but I also, think that I will figure it out. One of the things I'm most proud of as far as who I am is that in no matter what situation I have, I typically am able to figure it out by the end. So uh, you guys all are very important to me, so we'll figure it out. But of course, Peanut comes first. So oh. yeah, that's gonna be an adjustment. Yeah. How did you guys decide you were ready to have a baby? <laughs> um. We did it! <laughs> Well, I mean, I've always known I'm, I'm a great, I'm a great father figure. I've always known I'd make a great father, you know, and, you know, I've been trying for years. Um, she's been thwarting my, my plans, <laughs> but I finally was able to, you know, hit that home run, <laughs> plant that seed, and now spread, spread your seed, plant it oh. into the, into the egg. Yeah, fertilize it. And now all of a sudden there's a little life in your belly. Right, that's true. No, we uh, we were not trying, fun fact. Nope. Um, 
came as a complete surprise. And that's the thing though, is that we did know that we always wanted to have kids. Mm -hmm. It's yep. just a little earlier yeah. than we were planning. Yeah, just, I mean, we, and, and you know what, it's, it would have been a thing where, you know, we had planned on having children in a couple of years anyway. And I guarantee you when those couple of years came up, I still wouldn't have felt ready, right? So it's one of those yeah. things where it's, you know, I know some parents feel ready and you know what, let's do this, let's get it, you know, let's have a kid. And you know, other people are more like, you're not ready until you're there. Yeah. And I think we were the not ready until we were there. Yeah. Because we, you know, Haley and I are very much constantly on the move. You know, her career has her flying all over the place. I'm, you know, my career has me, you know, focused at work and, you know, not, you know, spend some time at home, but more time, definitely more time at work than I do at home. And it's very, you know, it just, I don't know if we would have ever sat down and been like, okay, we're ready. Or, you know, maybe if we were in our 30s. Yeah. Maybe. But I, I always knew that I wanted to start, I, that was the one thing that we would always talk about is I wanted to start sooner and yes. you wanted to start later. Yeah. Like I was, I was happy with the idea of starting like 27, mm -hmm. 28. He wanted to wait till closer to 30. And uh, you know what? I neither of us got what we wanted. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you, if you if we were 27 years old, you would have been like, eh, hey, one more year. Yeah, I mean, that's you the know? thing. Like, I always liked the idea of being a young parent for a number of reasons, but I think that it all worked out the way that it was supposed yeah. to. And yeah. you said it yourself, like we, we weren't gonna have that moment. We were like, all right, let's do this. Right. It was just, we're, we're lucky it Here happened the way that it did. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people, um, aren't lucky enough to be fertile and to have kids and so the fact that we, we can yeah. obviously is a yeah. huge blessing um, So no matter what even though it's a little yeah. sooner than we were planning. We're, we're still really grateful Yeah, so. how long did it take to start noticing differences like not liking Chipotle or morning sickness? That's the thing is that a lot of the signs I didn't even know were signs until after we got the positive test mm -hmm. like the first the very first sign was cramps like really painful cramps. Like actually, like had I paid more attention, I probably would have been like, this is weird. Yeah. Because it would like wake me up in the middle of the night and I'd be like, ow, this is not fun. Um, and then my period was late and that's typically the first sign is this period. Yeah. Um, and then it was probably like four or five days later that the nausea hit. And I remember I literally woke yeah, up one you morning. Did. You did. I That's woke right. up one morning. I was probably like at five weeks pregnant at yeah. that point. And Rick was leaning over me like, good morning. And I looked at him and I was like, oh no. It was almost like something triggered in your head where it's like, okay, you got the confirmation that you're pregnant. And now in your head, you're like, I should be getting all these. And then it happened. And I was like, I, I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll be lucky and yeah. I won't get any of it. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah. It hit you pretty hard, that's for sure. Yeah, that was that was unfortunate. Meanwhile, um, I'm over here chilling. I know. This the smell thing is is definitely starting to get more and more potent. Like when he poops, I smell it across the house. Yeah, he can't he can't every, have onions anymore. But everyone does. Uh, no, but it's it's a lot more potent now. Uh, yeah, I stopped ordering onions on his burgers because I could smell it on him the rest of the day. Yep. Um which is the worst. Yeah. The fridge? Like if there was one thing that went bad in the fridge, I wouldn't be able to smell the fridge. Yeah, I would had, be like, <clears throat> and for yeah, I couldn't. We had a lime in there. We had yeah, one lime. We had a bad. Yeah, we had a lime. And I was like, why bad. does this smell so yeah. bad to me? And you were like, it doesn't smell. And then we found that, and it's yeah. been fine ever since. Yeah. But it's very uh, potent. But yeah, the Chipotle thing. I, I I was talking about this on Twitter where I had ordered a Chipotle bowl, and I had like I don't know, like a a bite or two of it. I started to eat it. And I was like, this just doesn't taste right. right. And I got through half you know the what? bowl and I was like, this isn't good and mm -hmm. I don't know why. And I threw it out. And then I had gotten you a bowl for later that day and you were heating it up. So I took a bite and I was like, oh, maybe it was just mine. And it still tasted weird. She stole a bite of my chipotle. <laughs> it was important. It was for science. Top 10 anime betrayal. Right <laughs> and so then I, I even asked you, I was like, does this taste normal to you? And you were yep, like, yep. And I ate it all. And but it was then delicious. I tried it again. I tried it again the other night. But you got a burrito. I did. I got a burrito and it tasted fantastic. So I guess you never know. Do you guys have any ideas of how you want to decorate the nursery? Just saw an amazing Harry Potter themed baby room and it made me think of yours. Yes. Um, I can't tell you how I want to decorate it because that would give away the gender. But uh, I will say there might be a couple like little Harry Potter things in it. It won't be completely themed. No, it won't. No. And that's why people are like, oh, are you gonna name your kid after something Harry Potter? Are you gonna have a Harry Potter themed baby shower? Harry Potter themed nursery? I'm like, 
I'm allowed to like Harry Potter without like having my whole life surrounded right. by it. So we we do. I've been going deep in on Pinterest, um, but I guess you guys just have to wait and see. Yeah. Okay. Last question. Do you want more than one kiddo, or do you think no, this one will be enough? Two. Yeah. Two children. We'll two. I'd be okay with one. I'd be okay with one, but I've always thought of two as being the limit and the, probably the right number. He thinks I'm gonna want three. For, she will want three. Why do you think that? Because you will. Because you're gonna be like, but just one more. <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, but, but no. <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll see how one goes. I mean, in theory, we like the idea of two. Yeah. Um, I, I grew up as an only child. I have a half sister who's 15 years older than me. So even though I love her and she's my sister, it, it was essentially growing up as an, as only, an only child. child. And yeah. I think you were, were similar in that way. Yeah, except I had uh, my stepbrother. Yeah, but he didn't come into your life until you were like almost a teenager, right? Yeah. Yeah. Until I was almost a teenager. And I just think it would have been kind of cool growing up with a sibling and having someone to kind of go through stuff with you and experience yeah. with you and yeah. the good times and the bad. So um, we do, we, we'll probably knock them out pretty quick. Uh, not super quick. He wants to go boom, boom. But boom, boom. No, I want there to be at boom, least boom. like some downtime to recover from no, giving birth and all that. Get them out. Let's go. But the ideal situation would have been twins. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but okay. Spoiler alert. We are not having twins. Yes. I will tell you guys that. We're much, having but... triplets. No, we are not. Oh my God. This my is blown. Let's no, thank you. Um, so yeah, this is going to be probably one of the first couple Q and A's that we do throughout the rest of my pregnancy, um, you know, as I continue to grow with the baby and as we move and get the nursery set up, gender reveal and all that, um, we are moving to Arizona. Rick mm -hmm. is moving at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. I'll be moving at the end of next month um, once the lease here is up and we can get everything settled. So big changes are coming, but we're excited to have you guys with us. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I know we're, we're it's gonna home. be fun for sure. Baby Baez coming in July. So twenty eight. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Bye guys. <laughs>